So I'm obviously back from Fiji and I've obviously got a lot more of a tan and my hair has obviously faded a lot more. And before I get to the movie review, about 50 of you have messaged me with all the same thing, um, if you follow me on Twitter and things. My eye is a lot better, um, but I'm only wearing a contact lens in one eye because I still can't really see out of it and I don't want a chance of putting a contact lens in. I don't really know what happened to my eye, but at least I don't have to wear an eye patch anymore. And the doctor said I probably won't go blind. So I don't know whether to trust the doctor that I spent an hour on a boat to get to or about the fact that he was wearing a Jar Jar Binks t-shirt but my eye does seem to be getting better so that's all good. So this is a movie review for the film Sleepers. Holy this is a good film. Before I watch movies I always 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 IMDB it just to see who's in it and what it's kind of about to make sure that I want to see it and stuff. And for this movie, I thought it was like an all-star cast, Brad Pitt, Robert De Niro, Dustin Hoffman, Kevin Bacon. So I was kind of like, ah, uh, like as much as I love all these actors, as soon as I see that something is an all-star cast, I always assume that it's going to be a terrible film because they usually compensate for the plot and the acting just because it's an all-star cast. And a good example of this is Valentine's Day, Taylor Lautner, blah, 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 all attractive people, nothing else. But I have to say, I was really, really impressed with this film. The acting was amazing, even by the child actor. And I loved, loved, loved this film. Everything was so emotionally penetrated and it was just, oh, oh, oh. So good. So good. This film actually hit a chord with me because, as a lot of you know, I'm trying to be a sex therapist, which is mostly dealing with people that have been sexually abused previously and helping them get, you know, into better relationships, helping them get over it and things like that. So, all the way through this film, I was like, I want to counsel you, I want to give you therapy, I want to help you. Oh. And I was so concentrating on like how I could help them and what I could do. And it, so emotionally involved with the characters, it was, oh. And now I really feel like helpless, like and I want to help them but I can't. But I'm glad that they won the case in the end and they got their own revenge, even though two of them died really early. And Mikey that moved to England, that lives alone, obviously still has issues and I still want to help him but I know it's fictional or based on true story but uh, I just oh want to help. John's girlfriend was like it's hard to get close to him, it's hard to get emotionally close to him, we can't have sex and I was just like I want to help, I want to help, I can do this. Ooh. I don't really have anything much more to say about this film. I just really hope that this actually didn't happen in real life. And from watching, you know, Shawshank Redemption and stuff, I hope that the guards really aren't that horrible. Because, in, well, in the 60s, in the 50s and 60s, because it really does upset me so much. At the end of the day, like, this is child rape. And... Uh, but the acting was just phenomenal. Phenomenal! Also, before I go, I will be attending the Birmingham Gala Gathering. Real Birmingham, not Alabama Birmingham. Saturday so if you want to hang out and say hello and stuff I will be there. 